5.15. After the trip. Eager, has your brother returned from England? Yes, he has. Yesterday evening we went to the airport to meet him. Oh, I believe he is full of emotions and news. Yes, last night we didn't sleep. We were talking and looking at the photos the whole night. What about his English? Has he improved it? Yes, he has. They had English lessons every day. Except the days when they had full day trips to London and Stratford. I've been to London, but it is my dream to visit Stratford, the house where Shakespeare was born. It's my dream too, but such a trip is very expensive. I can't afford it now. I'm going to work more hours in my dad's cafe and save the money. That's a good idea. Five point sixteen. Complaint about the noise. This is room number twenty-four here. I wish to make a complaint about the noise. What noise? I suppose it came from the pub across the road. I couldn't sleep practically the whole night. Oh, sorry. Really, I can't do anything about it. I've arrived here to have a comfortable holiday. I'm not happy having to put up with that noise every night. Oh, sorry. The only thing I can do is to offer you a simple room on the other side of the hotel, facing the sea. Oh, that would be wonderful. When can I move? Immediately. The room is vacant. When you are ready, please come to the reception and collect your key, and a porter will help you move your luggage. Thanks a lot. Five point seventeen. Booking a one-day trip. Liverpool Travel Agency. How can I help you? Hello, I'd like to book tickets for me and my daughter to visit Warwick Castle on Whitsun Bank Holiday. Okay, let me check availability for you. Yes, we have two seats available. That's great. Do you have an email address? I will send you full details. Thanks. My email address is Helen dot Mills at Yahoo dot Co dot UK. Okay, I'll send you full details on how to book, and you can pay online. Thank you very much. Cheers. Five point eighteen, at the airport. Oh my God, our flight is delayed. Why? What is the reason? I suppose it's because of the weather. The forecast says there is going to be a snowstorm. I should be in the office tomorrow morning. There will be a conference. Don't worry. I don't think we'll be stuck here until tomorrow. It would be good to get some more accurate information. Wait a minute. I'm looking for it on the airline's website. I feel I'm getting hungry. Let's go to a cafe. Okay. I'd like to have a snack. Have you found anything? Yes. They say the flight will be delayed at least three hours. I hope not more. Let's go to Costa. They make fantastic coffee. Okay. I like their tiramisu. I'll look through my speech for the conference. Five point nineteen. A holiday in Italy. The weather is fantastic. I suppose this summer will be warm and sunny. I hope so. When are you going to have a holiday? In July. We are going to Italy. Good choice. Last June we travelled around Italy. Did you rent a car? Yes, we did. Did you find it better to have a car rather than rely on public transport? Yes and no. On the one hand, it was better to have a car because we were able to visit many places. And on the other hand, the problem we had was that there were so few parking spaces. When we returned at night, it was very difficult to find a place to park the car. How did you get around the problem? Often we left the car parked and went on foot. What was the point of renting a car in this case? Five point twenty. Planning a holiday. Where are you going to spend your holiday, Alex? I haven't decided yet. I'm still thinking about it. Have you ever been to Minsk, Belarus? No, I haven't. My cousins had a holiday there last summer. How did they get there from Moscow? By car. Driving in Belarus is very comfortable. The motorways are perfect. I prefer travelling by plane. It's much safer. On the one hand, I agree with you. But on the other hand, I enjoy travelling in my car. Your car is fantastic, big and comfortable. Something tells me that you'll agree to travel in my car again. Okay, why not? Let's work out the route. 
5.21. At the airport. Good morning. Hello. May I have your passport, please? I'll check your booking. Here it is. Please put your luggage on the scales. Ah, I'm afraid it is two kilos overweight. Oh dear. I didn't expect it to be so heavy. What is the limit? It's 23 kilos and your suitcase is 25. You can remove two kilos or pay the excess. How much is the excess? It's $20 per kilogram. I think I can put two kilograms into my hand luggage. There is plenty of room. OK, please do that. Then come back to the check-in desk. Don't wait in the queue again. Thank you. I'll be back in a few minutes. 5.22. A countryside picnic. It was a very busy week. It would be very nice to have a picnic this weekend. Go into the country? Great. I don't mind. We can go fishing and light the campfire to cook our fish. Really? I had thought of flying a kite and swimming. Why not? Oh, let's invite the webs. We always have a good time together. OK, it's a good idea. First, let's write down what we should take with us. I don't think we need to take a tent for one day. OK. What are you going to take? I'm going to take my guitar and sing songs sitting round a campfire. It will be wonderful. What food should we take with us? We can buy some pork, sausages and chicken legs for barbecue. I'm going to make a vegetable salad. Please add some bread to the shopping list. OK, that's done. Really, we shouldn't buy a lot. I'll catch a lot of fish. Last time, the only thing you caught was a cold. Five point twenty three at the herring festival. What are you eating? The smell is attractive. Is it fish? Yes, it's herring. I brought it from Holland. From Holland? Why haven't you bought it in the nearest supermarket? Try it and you'll understand. Mmm, it's delicious. You are wealthy if you go to buy herring in Holland. I hope I will be. It's just that my dad works there and invited me to the Festival of Herrin. It's called Flag Day. Why is it celebrated? They celebrate the first herring catch of the year in June. It's an unforgettable event. I've only known that the Dutch are the best producers of cheese and tulips. By the way, would you like to try some Gouda cheese? Of course I would. It's my favourite kind of cheese. Do you mean to say that you've also brought it from Holland? Of course I have. Gouda is a beautiful old city. We went there to the cheese market. I never thought that you liked food shopping. It's a very exciting view. There are thousands of cheese wheels in the square. Farmers and traders clap hands to confirm the sale. Can you take me next time when you visit your dad? No problem. 5.24. Leaving the house. Thomas, please sit down. Anne, we don't have time to sit. We will be late for our flight. Ten minutes won't change the situation. We always sit down before leaving on a trip. OK, it's your Russian custom, isn't it? I'm sure you believe it will bring luck. I suppose just a safe trip. Do you have any customs in your country? Just a moment. I'll try to remember. Have you heard of Groundhog Day? It seems to me I have. It is something about predicting the length of winter, isn't it? Yes, it is. People gather to observe a groundhog called Phil emerge from his burrow. What should this Phil do? If Phil sees his shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. If not, you can expect an early spring. It's rather funny. When is it held? On the 2nd of February in Pennsylvania. Oh, Thomas, we must rush or we'll be late for our flight. 5.25. At the festival La Tamatina. Billy, can you tell me why you travel so much? What is the most exciting thing for you during your journeys? It's rather difficult to choose the most exciting things. All my trip memories will exist in my mind forever. Where have you travelled recently? It wasn't the most exotic country, but we spent two weeks in Spain. As for me, I adore this country, their culture and traditions. We were lucky. We could see their festival, La Tomatina. 
Spanish people throw tomatoes at each other on the streets, don't they? Yes, it's the biggest tomato fight in the world. They do it for fun. Do you mean to say that you were one of the participants? Of course I was, and a very active one too. I've seen it on TV. I suppose that the town is very dirty afterwards. I can show you photos of the crowd covered in red. OK, and I'll show you photos of Finnish athletic boot throwing. 5.26 at the travel agency. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? I'm thinking of having a holiday in the Bahamas. Do you have any brochures? Just wait a minute. I'll have a look what we have. Do you want just a holiday at a hotel? No, I don't. I want something more interesting. Have you considered a cruise around the Caribbean? No, but I like the sound of it. Do you have any information about them? Yes, I have several brochures to look at. How long would you like to cruise for? At least three weeks, possibly more. There is a special offer with Princess Cruise Line. They offer six weeks cruising for two people in a first-class cabin for the price of two weeks. What dates do they have available? What dates would you like to go? Well, I'd like to go in January. OK, I'll check for you. 7. Booking a holiday. Hello, I want to book a holiday to go to New York. Hello, I can certainly help you with that. Which airport would you like to fly from? I'd like to fly from Bristol. What date are you thinking of flying to New York? How many nights would you like to stay there? I'd like to fly on the 12th of May and stay there for seven nights. How many people will be travelling with you? Only my wife and myself. We are looking forward to seeing big sights. Where would you recommend staying? There is a great hotel called Park Central, which is a good location to see all the sights. Can you please check the availability for the flight and a hotel and provide me with a price? Of course, it's not a problem. I'll just check for you. 5.28. Camping. Eve! How are you going to spend this weekend? My dad has persuaded us to go camping. Is it far away? No, it isn't. Henry's campsite is in Cornwall. I know this camp. We spent two weeks there last July. Did you like it? I'm not keen on camps. Hotels are much better. We travelled in our caravan. You know, it is very big and comfortable. Dad says the views and the services in the campsite are outstanding. Yes, they are. The staff are very friendly and helpful. I'm afraid that the bad weather can spoil all the pleasure. This weekend it will be dry and sunny. Wonderful. I hope to play tennis and swim a lot there. Are the sports facilities good there? Yes, they are, but sometimes they were a little crowded. I'm going to get up early and take part in the sports. Have a good trip. Don't forget to take your swimming suit and racket. OK, thanks.